Good afternoon guys, how's everyone doing today? Welcome to my channel, a South London Ballstool Boys Towers. Thank you to all my new subscribers and thank you to my subscribers what's been with me from day one on my journey. I can't thank you guys enough and without you guys I would not be uploading content onto my YouTube. I hope you guys are having a good day, whatever you're doing. Most of all, keeping yourself nice and safe. Now, what am I doing behind the scenes? What have I been doing over the last few days? I'm working on a new project, guys. And um, as many of my followers know, my passion, and actually my missus's passion, is helping the homeless people out. Um, because they're the guys that need it the most. And we go out on a regular basis um, visiting the homeless, feeding the homeless, giving out sleeping bags to the homeless, and this all comes out of our own pocket. Um, we have got a GoFundMe page, uh, which is on my Facebook. So if you look on my Facebook, it's just underneath my profile. And um, with the donations from that GoFundMe page, last year, we bought an X amount of sleeping bags and we went out on our travels and we give them sleeping bags out and um, had a chat to so many homeless guys. And the reason why... I'm so passionate about doing this type of thing is because I've been homeless myself and I know what it feels like to be living on the streets um, for whatever reason you, why it's got you there is on a totally different scale altogether and there's many reasons why you could become homeless people seem to think naturally that a lot of homeless people are addicts or on drugs that's not always the case um, you know you could be just one rent check or maybe two rent checks away from being evicted from your private accommodation so this can actually hit anyone this is why um I, you know i'm so passionate about what i'm doing because there's so many people homeless on the uk streets that you, it's just frightening and me and my missus are still going out on a regular basis handing out um clothes sleeping bags and hot soups teas and coffees and this is all now coming out of our own pockets. So where, I, where I'm at at the minute, guys, is a very good friend of mine who um, I met from actually being in uh, HMP Whitemore, um, a guy called Paul. He's um, kindly offered to um, send donations over, and um, that would be in, in the shape of food and things like that. So I'm yet to make contact with Paul. But um, yeah, I know there's something um, which Paul has offered and um, I'll be talking to Paul a little bit later on about that. Um, but yeah, I mean, before lockdown coming in last year, when me and the missus was going out feeding the homeless, we was on the verge of literally opening up a soup kitchen. We was looking for accommodation and we was going to open up a soup kitchen just for the homeless. So basically, just like a little drop-in day centre for the homeless to come and have a hot hot soup, coffee, tea, and have a chat with um, some friendly people like ourselves. Um, we, we've we got quite a few volunteers who are, are waiting and willing to come in, come in with us. And um, this is the project, what I'm going to be working on, guys. So we haven't found... Well, last year, I did get um, spoken to by someone which was... Um, he had a hall in Little Hampton... And I think he was doing his his own um, soup runs and um, maybe daily tea runs and coffee runs and cake cake things like that during the daytime. He had a little um, day centre which he was he opened up. Um, but yeah, lockdown come in and basically it just nipped everything in the bud and stopped everyone stopped us from going out. Um, so now we're out of lockdown and you know. Is still going around inside my head um, that we now need to look for accommodation and also we just don't need to look for accommodation we're looking for someone um, maybe a, a, a man in shining armour or a woman in shining armour who could offer or could possibly come in with us um, on this journey and maybe um, get some funding raised um, to make this type of thing happen guys so if there's anyone out there on my channel what is interested in um, working with the homeless and maybe like helping fund um 
a soup kitchen, please uh, get back to me or, or um, pass my details on to whoever you think could be that person what could help us out. Um, as I say, I've had a few people um, message me offering us uh, bits and pieces, and it's very kind, uh, very kind of you. So thank you very much indeed. But another thing I want to talk to you about, guys, is um, a very good friend of mine. His name is Noel Razor Smith. Um, I've known known I've known Noel for many 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 years. Um, he is just a few years older than me, so you know. But we um, we swam in the same deep waters. We um, was in the same prisons. Um, it might have been there a few years before me, but in 1999, um, yeah, I was in Belmarsh on House Block 4, Category A, and I was an escapee uh, with Noel when Noel was actually in there. Sorry, guys, there's um, someone out the back garden here. Sorry, guys, I had to pause the video just for a minute. Um, had some maintenance guys come around. But, yeah, um... Cheers. I'd like to give a big shout out to Noel Razor Smith um, because he gave me a really nice mention on uh, Paul Stansby's podcast. So if you guys want to check that out, his name is Paul Stansby um, and Noel went on to his uh, platform to tell his story. It was a two hour podcast. It's a pretty good one, but uh, it just goes to show that, you know, money and things like that, it's, it's not all about that because... You know, we we I'm doing this just for free, um, funding the homeless charity stuff all on my own, and you know, um, it's it's little things like this, like like when when I get recognised by other people, um, for the work what I'm doing, which inspires me to carry on with the journey what I'm doing so far and the journey what I'm on. So thanks very much indeed, Noel, for um giving me a shout out. Much appreciated. You actually lifted my day and um, made it all worthwhile for me. So yeah, I'm going to end this video here, guys. Um, I hope everyone's having a good day, whatever you're doing. If you go onto my profile, onto my Facebook, um, my, uh, many of you know, my name's Joey Barnett. If you go onto my profile, and you you can find the Go Fund, Go Fund Me link, um, it's actually also on my YouTube channel, um, on the About section, um, the Go Fund Me page. And everything which gets donated goes back into um, buying blankets, buying sleeping bags and um, all equipment for the homeless. So much appreciated uh, to all those less donated already. But at the minute, um, the donations have uh, come to a, a standstill, maybe because of lockdown and uh, we're funding it ourselves. But I'm not I'm not really moaning about that because, you know, it's not a lot of money anyway, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah. It does help out and um, it does help, guys. So whatever you're doing, have a, have a great day. Stay safe. Peace.